We are going to get twice the design advice because I've got a design challenge for two of our favorite designers. Please welcome back to our show, John Gidding and Tanya Knight. <laughs> I love how I pointed out which was which there. <laughs> John. Tanya. Yes. Right? <laughs> Um, so these guys helped us out once before when we were doing a show all about triples, right? Mm -hmm. We did you know, one apartment three ways, and somebody won that apartment um, rent free for a year. It was very, very cool. They picked mine, by the way. Uh, they did. I've yeah. been dying to tell the world. Uh, they did. They did. They did. <laughs> so we thought you two had so much fun with that challenge mm -hmm. that we would bring you back for a double challenge. Over here, we have constructed two big white rooms just screaming for designers. Mm -hmm. Behind me, we have a mountain of furnishings from Wayfair.com, and there's at least two of everything. So you guys have all the same design tools to use. Yes. But here's the rub. You only have one hour to design the rooms. Good times. Uh, yeah, well, good times, right? <laughs> We're used to stuff like this. All right, so by the end of the show, we want to see two completed rooms that are completely different. Uh, John, toughest part of a challenge that has this small of a window of time? You know, it's all about trying to switch up things. Here, I want to make mine look as different as possible from hers. And um, it's about looking at furniture in different ways. That's going to be the toughest challenge for me, because finally, you've got sectionals and chairs. How do you make them look different? What, uh, you got any ideas uh, cooking up in your head yet, Dan? I, uh, I have lots of ideas cooking up with, in my head right now, and this is good stuff to work with. I mean, you guys have seen some of the things that we've had to deal with in the past, yeah, so this is a good start. <laughs> this is a nice pile of stuff. Beautiful. Like, I'm like, oh, I wish that would fall off a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could take an extra one of those home. Uh, are you guys ready to get going? We're yeah. ready. Get on over We're and get ready. to it. beginning of the show, I issued a two for design challenge to each of these guys, very talented designers, uh, John Gidding and Tanya Nyack, uh, and they were both given, <clears throat> they were both given the exact same pieces of furniture in each challenge to make two completely white rooms look completely different and completely done all within the one hour of the show. Uh, that's a pretty big catch. I thought so too. Yeah. How about you? Was oh. this the easy one or? We are both big talkers and we were speechless when we saw all that stuff piled up there. Yeah, it, it look, did look like a garage sale in here, did it not? So how did it go for you, you think? I thought it went swimmingly. I rocked it out of the park. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> Swimmingly. Swimmingly, exactly. Really? <laughs> Only Giddy Up could get away with that because he's so good looking. <laughs> swimmingly, please. Oh, that's another thing I love about Giddy Up over here. He's so <laughs> humble. He's just so humble. Yes. Tanya, go ahead and talk some smack back. Oh, well, you know, I think the proof will be when you guys see the rooms, which room came out a little nicer, I'm just going to say. All right, now, I'm going to ask you guys to clap it out at the end, but let's remind everybody what was the before. Big old white room. Let's spin her around, and you guys can get a peek see. I love the spinny Lazy Susan. It's so fun. I love this man. I know. Nice. for your vote. Uh, John, tell us what you did on your side in your room. Okay, uh, one thing I immediately embraced were the decals that we had to use, which are basically these really simple stickers. And I put them right onto the walls first after painting the yellow and then painted the blue on top and removed the decals. So now you've got this negative space tree left on wow. the shape. Wow, so you use the decals as a template. Yeah, that's, really that's easy. And it's such a simple little trick to create a lot of uh, interest on the walls. The other thing is you don't necessarily have to position a chandelier in the center of a space. You can position it based on where furniture is, which always works out nicely. I think that's great because you have reading lamps here, essentially. Exactly, yeah. and it accentuates these beautiful reflective surfaces right underneath them. Yeah, and the room seems uh, like a really large space exactly. and, it, and it isn't it's a tiny little box it's mainly because of how I space plan but I'll just leave oh, that okay to there's, it. The humility. there's okay. that humility yes. again <laughs> and I love how the furnishings wrap around the wall keeping a lot of traffic area open exactly Very nice. that's a great thing about these amazing sectionals I mean a zillion things for the home is what we found on that website and finally uh, this great little coffee table that actually Tanya picked out I sliced off the legs of it and slipped it underneath these L shelves and kind of a unique arrangement. that is clever that was very that's clever that's very clever Gotta give a showing, showing. <laughs> like that. A little fire on the wall, very cute. Yeah. All right, Miss Thing.
and show us what you did. All right. Well, here it is. The same stencils that John used on the wall to get that great decal. Right. Can you spot them in here? Right on the little ottoman cube, these mirrored cubes, I created a zebra oh, effect. Wow. I you didn't turn them into zebra tables. That's right. I just didn't use the leaves. That's it. And it took literally about five minutes each cube. That's Super fantastic. Easy. I love the graphic on your wall over here. You like that because I did the R, R, and orange, right? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know the shout to out. The hidden shout out <laughs> yes. in there. Uh, but I just think that's so cool. Yeah, because you don't have to spend a fortune to do art. You can paint it right onto the wall. But not only on the walls, I paint it on my chairs. Oh, See? Really? Yeah, I know. Be careful. It might still be a little so bit wet. Tacky. But I just used that frog tape, you know, the green tape. It right. was perfect. I taped off a little chevron pattern and created these really funky, funky chairs. That's fabulous. So just basic white chairs. Yep. yep. Another thing that I did in this room, which I thought was really cool, Oh, is look at this, you guys. Can you see this? I'm going to back up so you can see this. These are vases. And she turned them upside down, turned them into really cool lamps. I created pendant lamps. And the trick is, for lighting, you can use those little puff lights. You know, that you could just pop up, like stick them on and turn them yeah, on. Because the battery it's, for operated. it's not for reading. That's right. So, Very there clever. You go. I don't know. There's a lot to learn. Both sides. <laughs> All right. Last time we did a challenge like this, John won. So let's see who goes home victorious today. Let's see if it's going to be a two time <laughs> year or a one time over here. Give it up for Giddy Up. <laughs> Created the city jungle over here. Tanya. Oh. Oh. I think Giddy Up just took a humility pill. Listen, I think they're both great rooms. Can we all agree on that? Come on. Yeah. And you know, a quick thank you to Wayfair.com because they hooked both of these guys up with all of this cool stuff. You can find it all, minus the artistic um, add ons, right? You, can, you guys can check it all out yourself. And thanks to them for helping us make this happen. Tomorrow. Oh, so good, people. Bigger Friendly Ground Turkey is the star of this Southwestern Skillet Supper. Everything but the kitchen sink. Absolutely delicious.